Aloha. We have your testing completed and your initial remedy program designed. The next step is to set up a time that we can get together and talk you through it. We will send you a summary report by email for your reference. We're here to guide you through the art of reading and implementing your biofield analysis summary report. From all the data we collect in our database for each biofield analysis, your report distills it down to the most essential information for you to apply in your accelerated self-healing program for the month. There are two main sections to look at and compare. The first section is a numbered list of the sources of stress you are working on healing right now. They are rank ordered according to the sequence in which we were able to identify them in the energetic biocommunication testing process. Typically, that means the stress pattern listed first was your first priority for healing. You can visualize this as the outermost layer of an onion, the outer ring of a tree, or the sequential layers of deposition that form an agate. Most often, the outer layers are more recently accumulated and build upon the older, deeper layers of deposition, which represent past stresses, damages, and toxic accumulations that your body was not able to fully heal at the time they were encountered. So in a very real way, your accelerated self-healing program is a bit like time travel. You're actually reversing aging. In traditional healing methods, this process is called retracing. As you are retracing your steps and completing the healing of old wounds and toxic insults, that you encountered along the path that led you to where you are today. Now, the source of stress is less is often less than obvious. Yet, we know that the power of the mind, of consciousness, and of the spirit body that the consciousness engages in the process of healing is an equal partner in the power of healing with any medicine or modality. In conventional circles, it is thought of as a confounding effect in research and eliminated as much as possible through elaborate controls such as double-blind experimentation methods in which neither the doctor nor the patient know what is really happening. This is essential in order to reveal the relatively weak, purely material world and typically toxic or suppressive effects of non-vital synthetic medicines. But if we embrace, rather than try to eliminate the healing effect of the consciousness and the spirit, we find that it is not a singular monolithic effect as the term placebo effect seems to imply. In fact, placebos, like pharmaceuticals, actually require specific colors for specific functions. The important feature here is that when you take the energetically correct remedies to help you complete the healing process for stress source number one, visualizing that particular stress pattern will double the effectiveness of your treatment. So now, if you look at the remedy or remedies listed with the number one in the second list on your report, you will see what was essential for balancing that first stress layer. And the report suggests a dosage range to explore for each remedy as well. If you know you are sensitive, you can start with a minimal dosage and work your way up to the suggested dosage according to your tolerance. With natural products, it's generally safe to explore the manufacturer's labeled dosage as well, which may be higher in many cases. You can also feel free to write or call us if you have any questions along the way. We may suggest modifying the dosage schedules if you have any strong healing or cleansing reactions. So don't hesitate to let us know of any changes in symptoms, even if it just seems to be the flu that's going around. In the same way, the remedy or multiple remedies labeled with the number two in the remedy list were found to allow your system to efficiently complete the healing process for the stress labeled number two in the stress source list at the top of the page. The only other items to note in some reports are if there were any particular foods to avoid and or affirmations to practice. When certain foods show energetic interference with your currently active healing processes, we list them for you. 
we encourage you to fast off these foods for the month. And when, when and if you do eat them, to take them consciously with extra enjoyment as a treat. It is also the perfect time to read labels on any processed foods to discover the many sources of ubiquitous ingredients, and there are many pseudonyms, like forms of refined sugar or MSG, if those are on your avoidance list. When we eat a food we are trying to avoid and feel stressed about it, we make it harder to process that food and its potential negative effects. When you eat a food you are sensitive to with extra consciousness and attention and enjoyment, savoring the experience helps bring the resources you need to fully digest and metabolize it. When you have affirmations to work with, use your energetic solution remedy as a reminder to contemplate your affirmations when you take your energetic solution three times a day. Look for and contemplate thoughts, images, or memories of people, places, things, real or imaginary, or times in your life that spring to mind in relation to each affirmation. You can check in with yourself and see if each affirmation is really resonating 100% congruent coherent and true in every part of your being each time you take your energetic solution. If it is, that's awesome. If it isn't holding between doses yet, now is the perfect time to give some energy to holding and fulfilling that intention. As the month goes along, you can notice how your process unfolds. You may even have some deeper thoughts and memories that come to light along the way. Enjoy your process. Remember, you are an infinitely valuable, irreplaceable, living, sentient cell in the divine, universal, fractal, holographic body. Be sure to treat yourself as that sanctuary of pure divinity that is this gift of your life. We are honored to share in generating wellness for your body, your mind, and your spirit. Aloha.